Okay, what's going on guys? Today's video we got a defending video. How do you defend FC24, especially if you're new to FC24 and you got this Christmas, or even you're a veteran player. People always ask me, how do you run in jockey? The two buttons is L2, R2, the most important buttons inside the game. In fact, one reason that I probably stress not to tackle is because one of the biggest things that people do when they're defending is they move players out of position. And what people think is tackling the ball is going to win you the ball. Now, don't get me wrong, tackling is very important. But tackling is only to be used when you've got a guaranteed chance of winning the ball. It's not used to kind of grasp or anchor the ball people like to think. So watch this, look. Normal L2, R2. Use the running jockey. Got a bit unlucky there. But you can see here, look, bit of L2, R2. And see, see how Lorente just won the ball just using two buttons. See how the game basically auto-tackled for me. That is one of the key benefits. The game has an auto-tackling feature. Where, so when you get near, as long as you're pressing L2 and R2, you'll win the ball back. This for those that are, are kind of, I suppose you can say, struggling, I would say def defensively, because then this way, you won't be pushed out of possession, out of position, should I say. So watch here, you can see, look, I'm holding L2, R2 button with Mendy. And it's the same way I'm look, sending the sun. L2, R2, I'm holding a, look, I'm kind of passing the lane out. I'm not being aggressive, I'm just waiting. Again, L2, R2. I'm letting him come. See, let my opponent do skills. Look at that. See that? How Look look how my player even automatically nudge my opponent off. Almost like shoulder to shoulder as well. And make sure, if you are struggling, make sure you turn your defending on um, tactical defending as opposed to advanced defending. In fact, I'm using... Um, I get a nice goal here. Bit of left dribbling. Bit of trickery. And I should have to get just the angle. Maybe not. That's probably precision shooting. <clears throat> Although you have that benefit, sometimes you do lose as well. But you can see like this, look, see how I, I know where Neymar is. I'm waiting, L2, R2, I'm not committing. And you see how my player has picked up the ball automatically almost. You still have to be near the ball. I'm almost like scooping the ball up with my player. That's probably the best way I can probably describe it. But when I'm scooping up, I'm letting the ball come towards me. You see, I'm not running forward and trying to get the ball because then you get caught out of possession, as you can see. You almost want to treat your defense like a wall. Like, you know what, you're saying to your opponent, you know what, it's your job to come towards me. So think of the defenders is the best advice. Again, if you're part of Patreon, so you've probably noticed already, the way I always describe defending, your job is to defend the shot and block the shot almost like a wall, is not to win the ball back. When you're defending, the biggest mistake people make is they want to win the ball back. So do a bit of L1 triggers here, waiting for the pass. Going to pass the ball back first time. That was my fault. We should have probably let the, the ball settle there. And see what Laurenti was going to run back completely. And then we're going to switch. See like that? See my opponent tried to flick up. Trying to get around me, but you can see a simple run and jockey is all that is needed to win the ball back there. Bit of pressure from my opponent, making sure I'm taking a touch away. You don't want to lose the ball in this situation. It's very risky. If you're not too sure, just pass the ball away. If you're really, really not too sure, just go back to the goalkeeper. There's no harm in doing it. Let's be honest. If you're under pressure, we know how this year pressure is a very big thing. But you don't want to lose the ball. Okay, like here, you see you're in a counter situation. Then you're going to end up using your back four and you're going to end up pulling your back four out of position. You've not even chose the formation here. So let's actually ch change the formation. We're going to use... Uh, in this example, a 4 triple 2 Nice, L1 trigger, push that player forward. Do a quick 1-2. So wrapping up, that's all about timing of this pass now. And I can see the player outside the box. I want to pass play outside the box. Oh, just a bit unlucky, just a bit unlucky. And again, Lorente, running jockey. Look, look, running jockey, not committing. Running jockey, using the run. Look, look, how, look at the buttons I'm pressing, guys. Just always focus on the buttons. See that? Ow, I got the I got the ball. The ball came towards me. Again, run and jockey like that. See, see how my my, my the game is basic. Because when you also activate the run and jockey, you're turning the game. You want to so indirectly how it knows to shield the ball is kind of AI assistance. But also the run and jockey jockey when you have possession, of the ball ends up shielding the ball as well. And again, it's about timing. Bad defending from my opponent. You can see I can see Sun there. I'm just going to wait for this overlap, and it's all about timing. That's a bit unlucky. I triggered a player to make a run, and the player stopped running. That's quite unlucky in that situation there. I should have probably pressed the L1. It's like here. Going to run back. See, look, I'm running back. Kind of pushing my opponent away. And to be honest, fair play, my opponent. I should have actually expected my opponent going for Travellers. Travellers, you've got to be careful with, because... See, now I know my opponent likes to do Travellers shots. I'm going to defend a bit differently. I'm still going to give my opponent <clears throat> no time on the ball. But I'm not going to be as aggressive because I know if I get caught out of possession, my opponent can then use a Traveller. So it's all about adapting your gameplay. 
Now we can see there. Do a three ball L1 trigger. Now Cena's better run now. Now hopefully we can time this into the middle. Son. Oh, not the best of passes there as well from me. That's my fault there. First game, bit rusty. Good defending. Sometimes it's really hard to get through this block. That's why you don't want to run out. Because you see, as soon as you run out, you're going to create a gap. Bit unlucky there. Going to select my right back instead of my centre back. See, my centre back goes back into position there. Again, look how I won the ball. Though. You might have to rewind back 10 seconds. Uh, but literally just using the run and jockey there. Now, that's my fullback. I've got to be careful. Timing of this has got to be impeccable. I'd rather be just offside and it, or, or just on. Because I don't want to... See, now that player is far forward, you've got to be careful. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Now, it's going to be hard to explain this, but I'm just going to rotate the ball now and try to find a place to the striker like so. And then try taking a shot. So, sometimes it's quite hard to explain that because you're doing it so quickly. But I was trying to rotate the ball. Then you've got to wait for an opening. Think of it like a puzzle. You've got to wait. Well, think of it like a moving target. Imagine you're holding um, a rifle, for example, and let's say the target is moving and is going behind an obstacle. You've got to wait for the target to be completely open and clear, and then you take your shot. Think of it like you've only got one bullet in the chamber. That way you don't force the passes. Because if you think you've got multiple passes, which you do have, but if you lose the ball, you could be in trouble. You know, again, we are, we're actually winning, so we could be a tiny bit more passive. This is kind of my top tip. When you're winning... I'm not saying be defensive and just park the bus, but don't be aggressive. So you see that came use a bit more. See like that running jockey again? Lorente out of the game actually won the ball back for me there. Half time. Now what I normally do is, if I can find it, I have a bottle of water. A bottle of water, should I say. Have a sip. Don't panic. And instead we ended up getting the rage quit. But I just wanted to show you just a couple of things. We'll go on to this, just the final ones. Um, so you can see again here, this was a, um, again, it was all about timing. Then we got the ball back. And this is actually a really, really nice uh, opportunity. This is when a game starts. The reason why this shot went astray is because I actually aimed it that way with precision shooting. Um, don't use precision shooting, especially if you're new to the game. Uh, but you can see the same thing here. You see, we just waited for the opportunity. We saw Alvarez making that run. Then we made that pass there. A bit of trickery, you see, went, went inwards. Baited my opponent, then they overcommitted, and just, just shy. To be honest, my opponent defended that very well because he got the angle, but just shy of the post there. Um, but you can see it's all about just creating those gaps. And you can see again here, we baited for the opportunity, and you see see that the passing lanes here with Mendy was blocked off. You see that? So I rotated the ball back, kind of baited my opponent. My opponent starts running towards me. I baited it, and very quickly, take a touch, see the player you want to pass the ball to, I take a touch here, and I know here I'm too far away from the goal. Wait for my opponent to be that little bit aggressive, get the ball with Sun, and then they can bury it into the corner. All right, guys, that is how you actually defend FC24. Maybe a bit of a tech tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, and come to my Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash Neil Guides. My FC score, how to get better at FIFA. If you don't get better after one month, I'll refund you my days and Neil Guys guarantee. Links down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.